Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Epirus campaign video in RTR Imperium Sarrectum. Yes, last time we fought the Seleucids up here in the north quite a few times with our new hero of our nation, Archilochus, over here. And we also destroyed Sparta once and for all. Yes, those fools are dead. And only Epirus shall reign. We All we have to do now on the Greek mainland is pretty much take out the Antigonids. They're worrying about the Boeotians, who we are allied with. Athens is still being stupid. But uh, <laughs> apart from that, I think we're in a pretty darn good position. We are just going to bait the Seleucids, really. I'm not too bothered about pushing really hard against them. Like fighting this in a siege battle, especially on stone walls. We've seen how damaging that can be. Five turns is not that long to wait, especially in this mod as well. So we'll see whether they want to fight this at any point. And then we can, you know, hold them in Abdera as well if they want to be held in Abdera. That's a pretty darn good army, to be fair. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at what we can do, guys. Also, guys, if you do enjoy this series, remember that always liking and subscribing does really help the channel out. So smash that like button. I also do have a channel membership now for anyone interested in supporting the channel a little bit more but anyway i think we are at the end of the turn guys so let's smash that end turn and let's see what happens so let's have a look at what has happened in the end turn the adrissians and the antigonids are constantly trying to spy on us which <laughs> is quite funny at the same time this army has moved which is a little bit scary where's our little spy let's see where he's gone He's either gone into the trees or has completely just left. I don't see that army anywhere, though. Like, where would it be? Huh. Interesting. I'm assuming he's hiding in the trees. So, let's go siege down Tirada. Let's, uh, let's get all the ladders. Ladder central. Let's also see Marina is just still being completely insane. Lysippos did come of age. Let's have a look at his traits then. Astute, uncharismatic, and vigorous. So, that's okay. It's not amazing. I mean, uncharismatic is not brilliant, but he could still be an okay general. Untruthful, financially irregular. Understanding of strategy though. So, you know what, Lysippos? You've earned yourself a command, my friend. Just by being born. <laughs> You've earned yourself a glorious command, my friend. Um, but anyway, we do have Alexander over here. We're going to keep bringing him through. And then what we're going to do is we're going to strike Argos and also strike, what's this one called, Prasai at the same time. I think we're also going to bring this army down south. I don't see any need for it in the north. So we're going to come around this way. Ready to protect Delphoi and maybe try and snipe some of these stacks that they've got going over there. Because they do have plenty of stacks, don't they, my friends? Um, the Glaciers are now at war with the Seleucid, so that's good for us. Antigonids have broken their alliance with the Scordisci. That also means the Scordisci are less likely to attack us, which again is a fantastic thing. Uh, we've had a few places grow. Pelion, for example. Nice, nice, nice. And Philippopolis got a bit of a recruitment buff. But it is insanely upset right now. So let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus there before we forget. Just to make sure. We've also got this little unit coming through this way. You guys go in Philippopolis to try and make it happy. And let's also make sure we repair all the damaged buildings here. These two armies, like I say, are just a bait the Seleucids really. They're not really there for anything else. So, yeah, we're going to keep them and hold them here for now before we then go after the rather large Odrissian kingdom. They are very big at the moment. The problem is, like, getting stuck in all these fights over in the east means that we are taking our time to go after Rome. And I want to fight Rome, bro. <laughs> I want to fight Rome. Please, let me fight Rome. Um... But anyway, how is the recruitment going? 
We've got Thessalians on the way. We've got Ambrakiotes. More Ambrakiotes. Anyone in Pella? More Ambrakiotes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, let's get our building done then. Korkira, again, I don't think is that useful in terms of stuff. Uh, it's growing by 1%. That's absolutely fine. Could go for the large Temple of Aphrodite. 8,000 gold for that, though. That's a little bit expensive. Kikiros, I think we just, you know, get that shrine to Dionysus in there. Oricon as well. Let's have a look. Hmm. Again, not that much useful stuff. I think we're going to find more useful stuff further down the list, aren't we? So, Ferai, though. Ferai's okay. I don't mind Ferai at all. So, probably worth going up to Dioscuri level 2 there. Demetrias, yeah, that's not one for the recruitment. So, Let's get that shrine to Aphrodite in there. Free half a percent growth. Well, not free. I mean, it's pretty much free. A thousand gold for half a percent growth. For Lana as well, let's do the same thing. Iginion over here. Iginion has been growing, but it's not the greatest of cities. And, and there's not really anything there that we want to build. Ayana, probably the same situation. Let's just pop that Aphrodite in there, though. Free half a percent. Same thing for Argos Arresticon here. It's just get a bit of growth going in some of these regions. Definitely worth it over time. Pella. Pella. Now, Pella is something that we do want to actually have a look at. So, let's go for that Dioscuri 2, which is absolutely fantastic. Imbros is pretty upset, as usual. Hiskana. Let's have a look. Let's get that market in there. We've got 34,000 left as well. Heraclea Linkestis. Hmm. I mean, we could start to get highways, but they're just so expensive. Uh, probably not worth it in the long run. Oh, Scoopy has stopped growing now, and it's got level 3 Epiro, which is fantastic. So, yeah, we go for the army barracks, don't we? Of course. Dardania. Let's ignore all of that. We don't need any of that. Idava over here, same thing. We don't really need any of that. Sophis, exactly the same. Skaptara. Hmm. Paved roads, quite expensive, but that's okay. Uh, let's go for the shrine of... I mean, I do want Sparta to be a recruitment hub. But is it even worth it becoming a recruitment hub at this point? Probably not. So, let's just pop in Aphrodite there. Dima over here. I think Dima's worth getting the paved roads in because there is a lot of uh, armies that are going to cross across that way. Pautilia over here, all the way in the north. Again, probably worth getting the roads. I know it doesn't seem like it's worth that much, but in the long run, going to allow us to move a lot quicker across these lands. Messene, really not worth anything to build anything there. So let's just get a shrine to Aphrodite in Kythera. And there was another settlement, wasn't there? There was Githion. Let's also do the same thing there. Lots of shrines to Aphrodite. We are lovers of beauty right now, apparently. Even though we have been brutally destroying everyone in our path. <laughs> so, oh, hello, Seleucids. Just, just enjoy yourself. If you want to take Imbras off my hands, <laughs> I really don't mind. How much money is this making? 1,600 and 1,000 for those, those islands. Like... <sighs> Not even worth it at this point, so yeah, it's fine. But anyway, let's end the turn again, guys. And let's see whether we have a battle to fight next turn against the Darn Antigonids. So the Boeotians want to become a protectorate. I mean, we've had this many times before. Go on, then. We are going to be attacking the Antigonids sometime soon. Anything else we want to do? Nah. They're probably going to reject that or get killed. Is that them dead? Oh, no, they've got a one final city. <laughs> Great. So just before we carry on, I just wanted to check how we are getting on with our recruitment. So Scoopy is getting to level three, but doesn't really have any of the infrastructure. Over here, we do actually have ability to train things. Like the Agrianian infantry, they are an armor-piercing little Peltast unit. Not bad at all. So I think we'd want, you know, a couple of those guys in our armies rather than the Athamanian Peltasts, which we are going for. So let's start recruiting four of those boys. We'll also 
Uh, no, let's not retrain them. They're a perfect garrison at 10, aren't they? Nice and cheap for us. So, yeah, let's not retrain them over there. We're also going to bring this army through this way. I might go for that attack because that is a draw-out battle. Whether we'd have the movement points left, though, look at our movement points to actually get into the city is a completely different question. Um, but Alexander, our glorious leader, he's now 50. So, yeah, let's go after Argos, though. We're going to attack the neutral faction over here. We're also going to drag Pyrrhos of Epirus out of here, too, with his slightly damaged army. And we're going to swap in some of those Thuriophoroi into there. We've got a decent number of Thuriophoroi left. We're going to go straight after Prasai. So, yes, the war is finally on with the Antigonids once again. We actually had loads of people born last turn. That's fantastic. Hmm. You menace the Perry Pathon. The commander who reads this scroll will improve his influence because of his understanding of grammar and the use of language. Oh, very nice. And also, Ptolemaeus the Wrathful has a doctor. Not that that's actually needed right now. Anything interesting diplomatically? I mean, we are, you know, trying to help out the Boeotians a little bit, but it's not really doing anything. We do want to do that battle, but I think we're going to auto-resolve that. There's only two guys in there. They killed 90 men, which is just a bit silly, but okay. Tirada was our settlement too, so we shouldn't have a problem holding it. Do we have the movement here? Well, that's slightly annoying because I did was kind of hoping that we had movement there to get... Oh, we don't even have movement with those guys. Oh, well, Tirada, just, just enjoy yourself, my friends. <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Hopefully, you're not taken. Uh, what we'll do then is... We'll also repair these. Get that to the back. We will send this Greek hoplite there just in case. Uh, war with the Antigonids. So, a war with the Seleucids and the Antigonids. I can't speak. Philippopolis is a little bit upset, but they're okay now. Burgers got upset, but that's going to be rectified in two turns. This should also be rectified in one turn. So, hopefully, Marina does not rebel before then. Anything of interest? Just Larissa got the upgrade to uh, the Armourer. Which is fantastic. Let's then carry on down. Oh, we're on Dionysus in Larissa. Hmm. That's slightly annoying. I feel like that was the way it was earlier. So let's actually get rid of that in Larissa. Got to make them slightly upset. But we're going to go for Dioscuri instead. Because everything that goes through Larissa now can be trained to an insane standard. Like a really good standard. So, yeah. And let's make sure... More Thessalians, I think. And then in Ferai, what do we need? Probably one one more... Two more Thessalians overall. Let's go for some more Ambrakiotes then. Then an Ambrakia. Let's also go for some more... Let's go for some Athamanians up there. Some Athamanians here too. And some Ambrakiotes for the boys as well. And then we're close to another army, which will be fantastic. And I think taking all this land, you know, might make us quite rich. I mean, I hope it does. <laughs> I'm going to carry on sieging down here. It's only three more turns for Ifestionas, the big boy. But I don't think there's any battles. Oh, no, there is. This draw out battle against Python. Glorious Python with Lysippos. Another brand new commander. Let's see. Again, the Antigonids, they do not have the recruitment capability in this region. Because what they are basically just recruiting is skirmish troops. <laughs> and I don't think we need to be worried about skirmish troops, guys, do we? <laughs> They're just more annoying than anything. Agathocles over here. Great name. Again, skirmish troops and him. So, I think we'll let him come in and make sure that we try and kill both Python and Agathocles. But anyway, let's get into this juicy little battle, my friends. So, the AI has been a little bit mental and decided to form up around this rock. <laughs> so, we're going to uh, 
get these guys together. And we're going to start running because uh, let's take the opportunity that presents itself, my friends. And try and smash this little part of the army whilst also holding them off over this side too. That is the plan right now, just to hold them over there. And then with our cavalry too, we're going to come around this way. So it's time to get moving. Looks like we're going to be a little bit outnumbered over this, this side. But I don't think it's going to be too much of a worry. I mean, Python, again, is going for the standard charge into a phalanx. There we go, boys. Get that attack order there. You guys will get you on phalanx mode. You guys, too. Come on, guys. Phalanx. 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 Go, go, go. And let's see if we can catch those Greek slingers. That's one of the generals running away. Now he's dead. That is Python, right? Or is that Agathocles? Well, the other general is running, so we won't be actually be able to take the city unless we kill him. So let's get those guys there. Those guys can go charge. We'll also get these guys into fighting formation. Come this way. Thurio Foroy, I want you to get round two. Let's go. And then I don't know what their army's doing, but it's not exactly the best formation I've ever seen from us or them, to be honest. I want you guys to come over this way. It looks like they're really trying to stop this flank going on. So, cavalry, let's come back. We're losing a lot of men. How are we dying so much with the cavalry there? I don't really know, but okay. I mean, this is a bit weird, really. This is a very weird uh, situation here. That is our Ambrakiotes running away. You guys get there. You guys get your ph phalanx down. Let's come forward. I'm going to try and get you guys in the flank there. We may have messed this up. The AI may be uh, being cleverer than you, uh, you expect. <laughs> this unit's probably going to run too. But yeah, here comes the cavalry. Now we've got the cavalry in the action. We should be okay. You guys, if you guys come all the way down here, that'd actually be great. Could even charge their Thurio Foroy in the process. God damn, that was a little bit dumb from us, I've got to say. I didn't think the AI would do whatever this is. <laughs> See, these guys are breaking too. Who do they have that is scary? Apparently they just, well, they don't like getting hit in the flanks, do they? Which makes perfect sense. You guys attack them. Right, Cav, let's go. It's time for you to get in the action. You need to win this. It's probably also mainly due to the fact that our, you know, guy does not have any morale. In fact, probably has negative morale. So, yeah, that's that unit de gone. Okay, we broke all of this flank now. Uh, that's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> it's not the best situation we could have been in, but it's not bad either. Now we can basically surround half of their army. So I do definitely think this is because, you know, a lot of their... Uh, a lot of the uh, morale is gone from us over here because of our general. So you guys can go and mop those boys up. I think our infantry can do the rest. You guys chase them down. You guys come forward ready to chase people down. I want you to attack in there. And there we go. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. In fact, one of you should stay behind here just to protect the flanks. And, yeah, not the 304 Roy. You two, let's come forward into there. Oh, who are we charging here? What's going on? Like, come on, guys. Like, what are you doing? How are we losing against Greek slingers, bro? Like, come on. Really? Thessalian Cav versus Greek Slingers, and you're going to do this to us like that? God damn. Oh, they actually have Thessalian Cavalry. That's interesting. You both get an attack order going on here. You guys attack order into them. You guys phalanx down. And, yeah. It's a bit weird. I, I, I'm kind of confused as to what's going on right now. Our morale is absolutely tanking. It's 100% because of our new general, isn't it? Right. You guys, let's charge these slingers in the back. That shouldn't be a problem. You guys need to fight them. You guys are just pushing through these hoplites. That's great. 
Uh, and you guys can fight the Thurioforoi, same as you. Let's go. It's just all a bit of a mess, <laughs> let's be honest. It's a bit of a mess right now. And mainly because troops routed out of nowhere, which you know, probably to be expected, to be fair, with a brand new general. But not the resounding success that we had with big uh, uh, Archilochus, if I, <laughs> if I say his name right. <laughs> Right, you guys now into the Chalkaspides. 304 right through. You, right, and cavalry, do we really need anything? How many have we killed? Not all of them yet, but a decent chunk. So, yeah, you go after them. You go after... Apparently can't go after them. I, I don't know why. You guys go after them, you go after them, and then the rest of these guys are going to have to die, hopefully. <laughs> a nice little surround, at least. Well, uh, not a resounding success, but a victory, nonetheless. Lysippos gets at least a victory under his belt. Lost about 700 men there, though, and that definitely means we're probably not strong enough to take on any more of those stacks. We could probably be strong enough to take a city and defend it, but goddamn, yeah, the, the lack of morale there really did hinder us. And also, I probably shouldn't have separated the men so severely, especially when the bulk of their force was around the right-hand side and we went with the bulk of ours around the left. Phalangites are not maneuverable enough to do maneuvers like we wanted to, really, in all honesty. But anyway, a glorious little victory, my friends. Back onto the campaign map. And as you can see, we did not manage to even siege down Orchomenos, so it might be a retreat, depending on how many armies we get attacked by. It might be a an honourable defeat, honestly, or honourable little uh, retreat there. I don't know. Um, it might be worth fighting just to kill as many Antigonids as we can. They do have a garrison in there, I was going to say. Otherwise, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> but anyway, let's do some buildy builds. Let's do some building, building, building. Yes. Very good. Build those. Megalopolis. Build some roads. Everybody gets roads. Roads for everyone. Um, I mean, Sophis, you don't really need anything, do you? Let's be honest. Better par it out here. Roads are not going to help you that much. In fact, what will help you is a shrine to Dionysus. Try and make you happy. That's all I want from my people. Their eternal love and gratitude. Is that is that too much to ask? Really? Uh, Demale over here. We are starting to run out of money. So we can actually afford to go for some of these bigger constructions. So let's go for the Dionysus. Let's also get the Agora in Acanthos. Making 3,000 a turn. Bacaria over here in the center of our lands. Let's also go for Dionysus. Whatever, just get some happiness, bro. Everyone gets happiness. But anyway, uh, let's end the turn there. And let's see. Is Lysippos' time already over? <laughs> Quite possibly. And the Galatians are dead. That is unfortunate because they were a Seleucid enemy. Um... But let's push our luck a little bit and go for Orchomenos here. We're also going to auto-resolve these sieges. I feel like now we're at the time in the campaign, guys, where, you know, we can tank a few losses due to auto-resolves. We're also going to occupy. Who in here was able to recruit? Was it Leprion? It was. So let's make sure we are recruiting over this way. We're going to bring you through as a garrison. In fact, we should have put the garrison in there and swapped out the garrisons. Dumb mistake, but it's okay. We can even, we can bring a garrison from the ship as well here. So, let's do that. Um, let's probably swap out the Spartan garrison, honestly. So, we'll stick this garrison into Argos. Hopefully, they do not get killed by any roof tiles flying around. We know what those Argives are like, don't we, my friends? But anyway, let's get on to Corinth, which apparently we have to go around the back way. The back route, the back door. And let's pop you off into there, into Argos. 
3% happiness. 33% happiness. Happiness for everyone. I mean, 33 is not good. But that is... What? What are you doing, Antigonids? No. Oh, God. <laughs> Why? I, I, if this is anything to show you, the Antigonids have no money. <laughs> I think the Antigonids have too many troops, even for the AI, which normally doesn't happen on extreme mode. But I think even the Antigonids have too many troops. Too many! <laughs> wow. Let's check Presai. Should have probably checked that. At least Presai is, like, okay. Gonna be a little bit upset here for a little while, though. So, I mean, four turns for the Odeon is quite a lot. It's only 5% happiness as well for the Odeon. So I'm thinking Execution Square is our best option because it already has the Temple of Dionysus. Same thing... Well, no. In Argos, we need a Governor's Palace. There's no two ways about it. Um, but anyway, let's move you across. 45%. I mean, the unrest will go, won't it? So let's have a look at what we're looking at here. 30% unrest. So that's going to be 75%. It's not too bad, you know. These Dorian places are a bit upset that we're not the same culture as them, but okay, 30% unrest there as well. Like, we just need more garrisons. I can afford to re like, remove some of these garrisons as well. If it gets really bad, we will just move some more garrisons over that way. Got a candidate for adoption. He's smart, uncharismatic, considerate, and pessimistic. He's got two management, though. Not completed. Okay, well, it doesn't matter then. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Yeah, Tirada's not too happy. I wonder why that is. Now they're happy. Okay, fine. Yeah, Skordisky are trying to, uh, trying to have a look at us as well, which does scare me because we're fighting two pretty intense uh, wars right now, and adding them into the mix is not the one. Right, Stoby now got that building. So now we can actually start building up our recruitment for Thracians in here. So we've got that now nearly ready to go. We're going to start getting cavalry so we can get some Thracian noble cav too. So we can make our glorious full Thracian army very, very soon. That is going to be fantastic. Right, Fenike, let's get that Temple of Dionysus in there. And Brachia now has some decent growth because of all the grain imports. Let's keep on growing then, Ambrachia. Kikiros, yeah, again, not that useful anything in here. Let's just get the walls, make it look better <laughs> on the map. Same with you. Um, Dodona, though, yeah, Dodona, Bologna. Let's go Pharsalos. I think it's... Definitely worth getting the Dioscuri in there. Lucas. Let's go for the Agora. And then the rest of them is just a load of temples, isn't it? Apart from Marina, which... Marina, are you happy now? Yes, you are. Very nice indeed. Let's get the Temple of Dionysus just to cement the happiness. <laughs> because, goddamn, that, that isn't... Good. They're not going to be too happy for too long, are they? Right, this battle can also be auto-resolved. 408, yeah. Seems fair, bro. <laughs> Let's enslave. We're not making any silly mistakes like we just did down in the Peloponnese. Uh, let's repair that. Let's build that. And let's leave ASAP. Get the hell out of dodge. 49%. Not too bad. Not too bad. So let's pop that in there. In terms of garrisons, that's something that we need to do as well over here. Ooh, we got these guys, but they're blocked by Athens. <sighs> well, <sighs> Athens is like, just, just honestly, just the biggest trolls in this campaign. Like, just standing on a bridge that we need to get through, like... <laughs> I don't like your trolling, Athens. I don't respect it at all. <laughs> Let's see if um, there are mercenaries available. Hmm. We don't have any 
body in here, though. Like, what happens if we do that? Yeah, they stay at 40. Well, you could have to juggle garrisons for a little bit. You got more than more garrisons? You've got a Prodromoy. Can you reach there? No, you can't. Well, we're just going to have to... Oh, I can't speak. We're just going to have to juggle the garrisons for a little bit. So, yeah, we've got them in there. We've got this garrison in here. It should be okay. Gonna knock you... What? What are you doing, bro? I guarantee as soon as we're on the map, they're going to withdraw, guys. Why would you take this? <laughs> this fight? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, I'll watch them withdraw and come back to you. They're not withdrawing. Wow. <laughs> Well, that's unfortunate because I didn't actually set up my army properly, but it, it's not set up too badly, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be fine. God damn, well, well done, Antigone. It's not withdrawing, really. You absolute fools. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't know why you would be doing that, but it doesn't really matter to us, does it? Uh, Thurio Foroy, round the flank. You boys, let's get you forward. And again, let's... I mean, the user are they going to fight us or are they going to run? They're going to run. Good. All right, let's get set up up here anyway. Cavalry will come around this way. And uh, let's make sure we time this right with the phalanx. Let's go. Silly, silly Antigone. Well, an easy victory for us. At least for now. Until they rout our whole army or something crazy happens. <laughs> right. All in place. Phalanx now, my friends. Look like that Zistafor is going to meet a prickly end. Very good. You guys get there. You guys get there. You guys get there. You guys keep coming. You guys get forward. Caver cavalry. Oh, Prodromoy is their general. Really? Does it have to be Prodromoy out of all the units that it could be? Bro. You guys fight them then. Turn. That poor mercenary hoplites is struggling a little bit. And we'll come forward. You guys fight the Chalka Speeders. They're broken already. I'm assuming they're going to withdraw this Prodromoy. But that's fine. If we can kill enough of the rest of them, we don't even need to worry about the Prodromoy. We can kill this whole army. Well, silly times from the old Antigonids there. Silly, silly times. Kill the Uzonoi. They've got a s two Prodromoy over there too. Goddamn Dumbos. <laughs> really. Really dumb. Oh, here comes a Prodromoy as well. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Kill them all. Nice and easy. Kill that Zistaforoi. Wait, the Prodromoy is not even like... Going for the double charge. Go on there, boys. What would we like to see? What do we have here then? Mercenary Hoplite is actually... Not, well, not a great unit, but an okay unit. Let's kill him. Let's not over, overstate their... They're good. Apparently, apparently, the captains are OP as fuck, bro. <laughs> Even though the captain... Is he dead? I think he's dead. How have these guys all come back from routing, then? That's insane. Well, you guys get over there. Anyone that's running that we need to worry about? We'll just use the Thurio Foroi for the rest of them. And you guys get there, you guys get there, and we'll just chase down the enemy with the cavalry. Not many left, should be nice and quick. Well, a glorious victory, my friend. We still did lose 142, which is not amazing, but... And one of the Thessalians really did take a bit of a battering. Um, but apart from that, glorious victory, and we've destroyed another Antigonid army. Fantastic. So with this army now, we're going to go after Hermione down here. And what do they have? They have the Sullian Cavalry in there as well. So we might actually have to, uh, you know, do that a little bit more. Actually do these sieges, which is going to be a little bit annoying. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, hopefully we can get, get, get some garrisons rather soon. Because goddamn, we need them, don't we? Also, securing this through, through Lamia is going to be so, so important to us. So we want to do that at some point. But just not yet. <laughs> just not quite yet, my friends. Um, no more farming. No, unfortunately not. So, Dimitras, you can get an Agora. 
and Solana up here, you are a not a recruitment hub. So yeah, you can get some more farms for some extra growth. And I think that's everything this turn. So let's end the turn there, guys. We've added four or five cities to our collection in the last couple of turns, which is good. Well, maybe, no. It's only three, right? Well, no. Tarada, Avdera, and those two. So four. That's all right. That's not too bad. Let's end the turn, then. And our dearest, beloved Boeotian League, our beloved Protectorate, has been killed. Oh, no. And the Adrissians did siege down Tirada. Not too bad. Don't mind that. Let's stop some rioting. So, that's okay. I mean, they got three Ronfei there. More Ronfei Foray there. But this army is the army of just trash. <laughs> of just light cav. So, I mean, that can be a very powerful army, to be fair. Whether the AI is able to use it in such a manner, I don't know. Got a lot of rioting, which was kind of to be expected. Uh, you guys there. Yeah, Argos. Argos is going to be insanely upset. I wonder whether Argos is going to pop out of Argos. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Prasai is really upset too. I think after this turn, though, it'll be okay. And Imbros, as usual, is just really upset. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? We've got another candidate for adoption. This one, again, not completed. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. The one thing we've got to be make sure of, though, if we are fighting the Odrissians, we've really got to make sure that we have a very good um, general in charge. Pasaran actually has a recruitment hub because it was our area from the start, but... It's not that good. Let's go for the Great Agora in there. We've got Thebi, Pathiotides over here. Let's get the ship right. It's really not making much money. I thought it would make a little bit more, but it is blockaded right now. That's probably why. Thermon has upgraded. Glorious. So we can go up to Royal Barracks here. Our first proper large city. But do we need level 4 recruitment though? 12 turns. We might as well pop that in there. Anything else? <gasps> yes. Bylazora. Fantastic. It's what we like to see, boys, isn't it? There we go. Let's queue in four of those. I'm just going to queue in four so I don't forget because very likely that I will forget at some point. They've already got the Agrianians, so we'll get one more, and that's four turns, and then one more turn after that. We will then be able to get the Romfei Foroi in uh, Scoopy. Scoopy, Scoopy, Scoopy. Right, glorious. Right, well, we spent a lot of money already, but that doesn't matter too much. Notice the Seleucids have uh, decided that they wanted to come back from Anatolia because we're kind of crushing them. Maranea. It's also 252. It's not fantastic, but it's not too bad either. Let's do that. I think we never owned Maranea before. They've got a large temple of a hero. That's actually quite a good one. Get you on low. Let's also get big Archilochus. And he will fight the Adrissians, I think. I know I said we want someone with good morale, but let's actually have a look. How is his morale? It's plus two now. So that is quite good. Like, there's not... Really much else we can want from him there. Um, and I think we just get, like, a couple of mercenaries. Because what I want to do... I'm thinking we just get a load of these mercenaries. Because what I want to do is bait the Seleucids into attacking Maranea. So if we can bait them to attacking these mercenary troops. That would be fantastic. And then hopefully do a load of damage. And then we swoop back in. With Archilochus to deal the rest of the damage. One more turn until Philippoi is taken. So let's go attack these guys. What the hell? Oh, oh, I only wanted to withdraw just so I could see the see where this army had come from. But yes, I guess I was right. They were hiding in the trees, but just hiding in the Plain sight? Oh no, those trees! Okay. Well, that's a bit annoying because we're stuck here now. Ah, well, at least we'll have Ifestionas' army next turn. Good. 
So at least some good things have happened. <laughs> Can't do a night battle here. Hmm. They're coming in from the left corner. Well, let's uh, auto-resolve these. Like I say, we're, we're past the point now where we really need to worry about it too much. Let's enslave Corinth as well. That's not upgraded anywhere else, which is good. Um, also, probably should look at exterminating a few places over this way at some point. Let's go for the Shrine to Aphrodite. Let's also... Oh, God, Argos. Argos not too happy, is it? I think that's going to be okay. Argos, on the other hand... Yeah, I mean, Argos has that massive issue with population. And it's got a spy in it now. I think we can afford... Like, if you go into Argos, then you leave, Alexander, my friend. Knock that guy out of the way. And go after Sikion. We are just sort of uh, pushing through. We are blitzing quite hard now, but... And then we'll swap the mercenary hoplites into Corinth. And Corinth is perfectly happy. So that's the difference between enslaving and just occupying in these areas, I guess. But yeah, not, not so happy, are they, these places? Anyone else that can be reappropriated for Sparta? Not quite, but... We are getting another... Where were we getting that... That archer? Is it Dimer? What? Where? Oh, it's here. It's okay, okay. Right, Thermon also has been recruiting, so... You guys go down to Sparta. We'll also probably have to take... Maybe these two cities. We'll also auto-resolve this, of course, guys. Like I say... I know it's not as fun doing it this way. Let's exterminate this city, actually. But, of course, it's a lot quicker. And, I, you know, you guys don't want to see thousands of little mini sieges with one or two troops protecting. Let's destroy that. Good, 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 good. And they're happy as well, which is very nice. Let's get that shrine to Aphrodite in there. So, yeah, we are starting. Look at that income. We were on 59,000 a couple of turns ago. But yeah, some of these places are very rich. Um, in the north, though, are these places rich? Like, relatively, actually. Let's see if we want to build something in Maranea. Probably the Shrine to Dionysus. Over here in Abdera, we are building two. Let's queue in the Shrine to Aphrodite in there, because we're going to try and save them. Huh, well... Right, well, I think we do this battle. I think we've got enough troops to do it. It's not the strongest of armies that we have right now. But all they have inside the city is a Prodromoi. So what we either do is go meet the army on the field of battle, which I think is the option. Or we just try and get inside the city, get to the town center, and run to the center and just defend it. I don't think we're going to get through the walls faster than they can get to the walls and through them. So I think it's better to fight them. They're coming in from the left-hand side. So let's get into this battle, guys. Well, if we do do this, I think Lysippus can also count himself one of our new heroes among our glorious, glorious lines of heroes that have been created. Archilochus, Alexander, Pyrrhos. Glorious men all. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this, these guys over here. We're going to take them off that for now. I'm also going to just have my cavalry slightly further away. Just in case they do come up from that corner. I mean, it's, it's not likely, but it is a potentiality. <laughs> Words seem to be evading me today. I, I don't know why. <laughs> right, we're just going to get... I mean, all they have is Prodromoy. So, like, what What are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? Hello, reinforcements. Where are you? Over there. Right, great. I knew they would come in. Like, 
Said they were coming in from the left, bro. <laughs> Not all that's so far away. Let's try and go and fight them anyway. Uh, let's try and go and fight them. God damn, that's rather annoying. <laughs> My poor guys are going to be knackered by the time they get there. I mean, if we can just snipe a few units, that'd be good. Like, the Prodromoy. It looks like they are going to go for this gate, because the other gate's a long, long way away. So, I'll tell you what. Let's just back off. If they are going to come down this way, I don't mind at all. So, let's just set up over here. See what we can do. Maybe bring the cavalry all the way back. And let's speed it up and let's see what happens. Okay, they're going for the charge. <laughs> Imbeciles. Imbeciles all. But I mean, it's fine for us. Is that a second Prodromoy wanting to come and join the fight? No, that's a Zista 4, right? Let's charge them. Charge. That's not a charge. Charge, men. Charge. There we go. There we go. That's better. We should get the charge off on them. Didn't kill anyone. There we go. General dead. That should shake them. Prodromoy and Zista Foroi should both break. This is an extended cavalry fight. Let's get our guys all the way over. How are we doing on the walls? Starting to get up the walls now. Good. As long as this army doesn't get in, we are fine. Unfortunately now, we are going to have to take some fire from the walls to block these guys off. Same thing over here. Let's keep coming. Let's not separate our army too much. Don't mind taking a little bit of fire from the walls. I'm also going to withdraw my men. I don't want my general to die. Definitely would not be a good thing to happen. Especially with all that Uzonoi and everything around there. So let's come around this way. There we go. Right then. Let's properly face them. Looks like they're not going to uh, do anything crazy. You guys need to come around this way ASAP to stop them getting through that gate. You guys can come through this gate as well. Actually, no. Leave that gate for now. Leave that gate. Leave that gate. Leave that gate. Leave that gate. What I'm going to do is come around this way. Basically so that they feel like they have to go to that other gate. Right. We need to get in Phalanx. That was... I was too busy looking over the other way. But there we go. Macedonian hoplites. Get them off guard mode. Here come. They're coming all the way on the right flank. Pretty much all of them on the right flank. Not too bad. We'll take that. Bit annoying that their progenoid got behind us, but okay. <laughs> we'll see if we can break this Uzonoi. Right, now let's give him attack orders. This definitely does do a lot more damage than anything else. So I want you guys to get attack orders too. Into there. You guys there. There we go. Right, cavalry. Let's see what we can do. What's that? That's just a Uzonoi. We'll take a few javelins from them, but it'll be fine. So once you guys have got sensibly to there, we'll come back and get ready to take the gate. Where's the other unit? There they are. They're close to getting through the gate now. That's very good. Right. You guys, let's get into the Uzonoi. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, but they are an okay unit. You know, they're not awful. They're, they're a lot easier. They're a lot easier to fight than hoplites, but they're also not just pushovers like a slinger or anything like that. So it looks like we're doing okay here, but not... Oh my god, they've completely, completely facing the wrong way, guys. This is why taking them off guard mode, I don't like to do it sometimes. Like, what are they doing, bro? Why are you facing that way? <laughs> Alright, Uzonoi's dead. Let's get in the back of this 304, right? Okay, we've taken this gate now. So, I don't know which gate they're going to come round, but it's not this one. It looks like they're going after that one. So, in fact, you guys try and outrun them there. You guys are here now, so I'm going to bring you here. And let's take that gate then. Right, Cavers just run rampant, basically. Let's go through the Uzonoi over here. You guys, even though you guys turned around, you still did a lot of damage. Let's go. Let's go. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> the dichotomy of saying let's go and the phalangite is just like strolling towards the enemy <laughs> come on boys what is this oh we gotta kill these greek archers surely should have used them over here i've run them too far away because the archers are just annoying uh we've broken them at least though 
We should break this Yuzono pretty quickly. Right, back over here. Taking a lot of damage in this fight, though. So this army will have to go back for retraining very soon. Can we outpace them? I don't think we can. I think they've got the... Because we've got to go all, through all the kinks and everything. I think we're going to not outpace them here. Oh, my God. Look at this blob. This blob. I should have surrounded them, surrounded them with the phalangites, but... Oh, well, if they want to fight to the death, that would be actually very good for us. I want you to run rampant through them and kill them all. Like, kill as many as you can, bro, before they all run away. Right, we're going to run into the city with them. So we're going to take a few shots. That's okay. Uh, right, Phalangites, I mean, we can get you in the city. That's not a problem. Not that it's really that... That useful now. Let's get you off guard that and run. Can you guys get through there now? And now we're just going to get the uh, 304 into the city. Let's go, my friends. Ah. M may have done an oopsie, guys. <laughs> Apparently, the general was quite far ahead. Mm. Well, Lysippos, I guess you never got to test the fact that you are a great commander, my friend. <laughs> <sighs> oh dear oh dear bit of a mess i mean our guys are exhausted as well but you know they should still beat the progemoid very easily all of our guys are exhausted this has been an exhausting battle for anyone we've taken all of the gates now by the way so their army should not be able to get in which is kind of funny so i'm gonna bring these guys back here to just fire down on them uh <laughs> But yeah, you know, what can you do, guys? <laughs> Probably should have just, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting him to die, you know. I thought we won the battle, but it always happens at the time you least expected. Like Quintus the Week in our Skippy Eye campaign, you know, he died charging Numidian cavalry, in case you don't know, guys. So, you know, it can just happen, can't it? It can just happen. But anyway... Let's end this battle, guys. Nice. A very... A glorious battle for Lysippos to end on, to be fair. A very glorious battle. Well, it was a heroic victory. And, you know, we're just going to frame it as Lysippos got a bit too eager, <laughs> shall we say, to join the fight. And he died fighting Prodromoy. Yes. The most powerful unit known to man. The glorious Prodromoy. Ah, well... <laughs> We need to find another general. <laughs> and I think in Orkomenos we will exterminate in anger at our glorious commander's death. So, yeah. This army does need to go back for retraining, though. That is one thing that is certain. So let's combine those two. Can we leave 32 guys behind? We can do, but we can't leave. I mean, we could defend here quite well, I think, with the troops we have. Um, especially against this. What are these? Hmm. Yeah, especially against whatever they've got to offer there. But yeah, not not the best death. <laughs> Rather dumb. But anyway, we can't dwell on it for too long, can we? We'll find another glorious commander. <laughs> At least Orkilokos still lives. Let's uh, get that in Tricker. Let's do the same thing up here. Going for a big population growth building up at the moment, aren't we? Uh, let's get that large temple of Dionysus in there. And then Argos Aresticon. I'm thinking... Hmm. It's not that much that's that interesting here. Trying to deny Dionysus. That's going to bring us some more money. So let's do that. Pelion. Dioscuri we don't need... Um, I'm wondering what the corruption is like in some of these areas. Like Bacaria, for example. Surely there's no corruption. Yeah, there is no corruption. That is great. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. So um, I hope you have enjoyed. It's been a glorious little episode. We've taken, what, five, six cities in this episode? One, two, three, four, five, six cities maybe abdera as well i don't know it's been a, it's been a good episode anyway we've gone very fast 
but I do like to play fast when uh, when we can do. You know, we've we've earned that right now. We've earned that right now to play fast, haven't we? Now we just need to, you know, mopping up the rest of this is not going to be too difficult as long as we can get this army back for retraining, which <laughs> isn't a given at the moment. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.